So fun bouncy balls have been made for a long time. They can be in any different color, and they're just fun to bounce around your room, your house, and sometimes your classroom if you're some kids. And but I'm gonna show you today how to make bouncy balls with six easy steps, five ingredients, and about five materials. Yeah. Um, so I've been making bouncy balls for a long time, and it's fun, but it takes quite a bit of time and a lot of preparation, and it's very dirty. So let's get into it. So first, you're going to need to get about one tablespoon of glue. And then it's also optional to have food coloring. I have some coloring and I think I'm going to make purple. Alright, and then you're going to want to stir that up just because the glue will dry sometimes and that's no fun. It's a good shade of purple. Alright, and then in another cup, give me a second. Um, in another cup, you're going to have actually. I need, you're going to need to clean your tablespoon after this because you need your tablespoon for a lot. That's not good. All right. Well then, you're going to need half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of borax, which you can find in the laundry uh, area of some places. Then you're going to need three uh, three tablespoons of cornstarch. Mm. That cup is not on my side right now. I hate glue. And then finally get this water dirty, you're going to need, you're going to need four tablespoons of water. And then you stir it, and it's going to be really weird because it's like stirring butter. And then once you start feeling it being, once you start feeling the clumpiness, you want to take your knife out, take your knife out of here, maybe stir that up a little, and you're gonna pour that in. Then you're gonna stir. Uh, if you're going to stir, probably stir with the glue knife you used because that's going to be less dirty. Right. And then this is where it starts getting dirty. You're going to want to stick your hand in there and pull it out. And you're going to start wanting to roll it between your hands. And I just got it on glue. That's okay. If you're smart, you'd probably put some cornstarch on your hand beforehand. And then you're going to want to roll it around. Now, normally this takes about 15 minutes to roll around with your hand and dry. And since I don't have another bouncy ball to show you what the final thing is, this is about what it looks like in the end. And if it starts cracking on you, you're going to want to stick it right back in here. Roll it around in there for a second. Pull it out and then continue to start rolling it around in between your hands. Pro probably don't use as much cornstarch as I did to roll around your hand because you want it to have a better outlook. But this is basically what the final outlook would look like and then it would start bouncing. But it needs to dry and that takes about 15 minutes. And if you want it to dry faster, you 
roll it up in this tightly because if you put it in the fridge, it will start flopping like this. This, and so you're going to want to roll it up tightly in that. Put it in the fridge, and about five minutes later, you have a, you have yourself a nice bouncy ball. Thank you.